KZ fam, back with the second video of the day. Best anime showcases of power in 2021, bro. I really want to watch this video. Y'all already know, man. I love the the showcase of power in anime. I love it, bro. Insane. But anyways, y'all. Um, y'all already know. We don't waste no time here. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content, make sure to hit that sub button, hit those likes, and turn on the bell so y'all can get notified whenever I drop a video. And let's get right into this, bro. Simple. Oh, yeah. Oh, Don't my God. I see what you did there. The analytics and all tell me you just love sensor. showcases of power in anime. Flexing, as they call it. And who doesn't? Those moments are some of the Gojo. most awesome moments of coronation an anime can give a character. That's why I'll be giving you a gift today. Today, our video is going to be on this year's top showcases of power in anime. And I hope that you're prepared for it. Prepared to be both amazed and for some spoilers, mind. Hold on, guys. I really want to check if I've done this shit already because I don't want to do a double. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I don't I don't like doing shit that I've already done. Hold on. Best anime. Let's see. Okay. I haven't done it. We good. And you, you're gonna need it. Our Rengoku. first entry for the day is yeah. Rengoku fighting the demons in the train. Nope, this isn't either of the boss fights, but this really does give off a strong first impression. How can aspiring students like Tanjiro and friends not be impressed? This guy just sensed his way through all the demons' tricks before one-shotting them all in short order. In the process, he even showed off some of his moves, most notably rising scorching yeah. sun, all while giving some badass boasts of his own. What a way to make an impression. Even asleep, he can't stop being a badass. His survival instincts alone allow him- He got Inosuke out the way he saved his ass and he him to power through end moves pawns and lead the comeback his tenure in the show may not have been very long but man oh man did rengoku make a very fiery impression in it flexing and giving us some of the most visually spectacular fights ever in both cinema and tv anime you'll be missed rengoku now i want to know what an alternate Facts. timeline would have looked like where he survived and became another big mentor figure for tanjiro mm -hmm. Is it just me, or does this give some Overlord flashbacks? In terms of insane, otherworldly abilities and such, Rimuru already has the title of most overpowered 2021 characters locked up. However, actually seeing it is something in itself, and we get a glimpse of it when he unleashes Megiddo. Seeing Rimuru in rage and just giving zero dams is a scary thought. Taking on the mantle Holy. of an executioner, he coldly eradicates 5,000 people, just like nothing. A deeper look at the mechanics behind Megiddo will reveal more of how amazing the ability is, but let's just say that I didn't expect wiping thousands out with the great sages super calculations to look like this I mean I just don't see how you assert dominance more than just chilling and sending low tier water spirits to commit mass murder I mean it must Damn. be a completely awful feeling being in the middle of that and all of that comes back to one thing we're all merely nah. just insignificant insects in Rimuru's world all will fall beneath his might and this video just proves that <laughs> that is crazy Luffy kid and law Yes, sir. This year has been a good one for One Piece. We're in the midst of a rocking oh, yeah. arc featuring the mighty Kaido, but before that, we've got what people have called to be an ultimate team up. On one side, we've got <laughs> Luffy teaming up with Lauren Kidd, and on the other side, it's the Beast Pirates. As they say, though, unnamed mob characters all fall en masse, especially against heroes, much less guys as strong as the worst mm. generation. Well, there's really no tension. I mean, Come on, do you really think Luffy and the boys are going to lose here? i got to give some props to the Thanks. animation. It also makes seeing the worst generation's powers look so... This animation is crazy. Oh, bro. awesome. So seeing the panels in manga's one thing, but actually seeing it animated completely gives you a new perspective, and we're all left staring in awe. Heck. Do they even need each other? Each of them can take down a whole ship by themselves. It's quite a funny thought, yeah. though, when you think about it. Oh my gosh, bro. Castle, oh my 
next is Striga fighting in day armor. Does this also count as the best one-man army moment of the year too? I kind of want to crown it already, you see. Castlevania Season 4 has been nothing short of awesome, and whilst there's more to it than the fights and action sequences, it's moments like these that truly send it over the top. Feast your eyes on this eye-popping sequence of Striga just destroying everyone in sight. It's as brutal Damn. and violent as you'd expect, and I don't Why think maximum though? carnage would be enough to describe the destruction she released on everyone. The action's fluid, the choreography no remorse like, like everyone in sight it's as brutal and gruesome. violent as you'd expect and i don't think maximum carnage Damn. would be enough to describe the destruction she released on everyone the action's fluid the choreography is on point and you can really feel the impact every time she swings that large sword of hers an Jesus. awesome moment as one of the audience a truly harrowing moment Bro. though if you imagine yourself in that scene people have been calling this the berserk adaptation that we needed and never got and you know what they're right <laughs> Now this is something else. I need an explanation though as to why she's doing that. You know what I'm saying? Is it just because for the fuck of it or like Tokyo Revengers makes its way to the list with Mikey vs Valhalla. Do you remember the most overpowered characters list I had just recently? Make sure you go and check that one out. Now the reason I brought that video up is because Mikey's featured there and if you want the most concrete evidence that he belongs in the list of the most overpowered 2021 characters Damn. then you have it right there. Thorman vs Valhalla has a lot of intense moments of straight up no holds barred fighting between gangs and it's exactly the kind of stuff you'd expect out of Tokyo Revengers. Most notable in it however is that for me it serves as as one of Mikey's many shining moments in the show. You gotta admire his resilience here. Even when it seems he's down and out, he still finds a way to push his resolve and turn the tides with a straight up devastating beat down on the enemies. Now, this just oh proves that my. while he's someone that Dolman respect and take pride in for his strength, his power goes beyond Ooh. the physical combat abilities. It's pretty much impossible to take the fight out of him, and that alone is scary to think about. Are you enjoying this <laughs> yeah. list so far? Yeah? Then make sure you hit the subscribe. That is crazy, yo. That's actually fire. I respect that. Villain fights intrigue me because of the dynamic that they oh, employ. Yeah, yeah both are bad guys that you won't root for typically, but there's always the more charismatic and the more likable one that you'll be rooting for. In this case, it's Shigaraki, who has a tough matchup ahead of him. Well, yeah. on paper at least. Hey, Redestro gave Shigaraki a run for his money at several junctures, but once Shigaraki's quirk evolves and he finally grabs hold of that peak power, it is all over. It's all Shigaraki as far as I'm concerned, and he makes Redestro the first victim of his ferocious counter-attacks. It's a yeah, this was crazy, bro. This was actually a chilling hard. moment when Shigaraki completes his resolve, but I can't help but feel in awe to see his evolution complete in such a manner. Melting down an entire city is something I tell you. This is yeah. Shigaraki's crowning moment, the very time we know that he means business. He solidly cemented himself as the ultimate villain and the one capable of following his master's footsteps. Our heroes have a tough battle ahead if they yeah. want to even sniff a chance at beating this monster. <laughs> <laughs> After that we have Levi versus Zeke. Wait, is this the correct season? Hold on a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is you Remember how times, Levi yes. actually destroyed Zeke before? Yet the poor slob just keeps coming back for more, doesn't he? With a quite healthy dose of fear this time. And yet again, Levi flexes his power on Zeke almost effortlessly, in fact. This time, it's not a meticulous breaking down of Zeke like in Season 3. Zeke doesn't even want to fight Levi at this point, but, you know, Levi doesn't care. While it's even less of a fight than before, it's still one hell of a moment that will get your heart racing. The image of Levi falling down unfazed before killing off his comrades turned tight is an underrated Dude. highlight for me. Unfazed and unworried, all he had was sorrow in having to solo destroy them all. And that he did. Levi is not the strongest soldier for nothing, and even after... Yeah, bro. Yeah. Levi is something else, bro. He said, fuck it, bro. All of you dead. I mean, he had no choice, man. He, he had to make that choice. Like, there was nothing else he could do, but... He's cold, He's bro. proven He's that again cold. and again in so many instances, he hasn't lost his touch one bit. All the way to the final yeah. season, Levi remains a human super weapon, and that, my friends, is pure awesomeness. <laughs> How 
how about eh. Orsted just squashing dead end like it was nothing? Yep, this belongs to the list, all right. One of the most gripping scenes in this season was Rudius getting the donut treatment, and that's courtesy of Orsted's effortless destruction of the group. Oh. The fight itself is good, to be fair. You can enjoy the masterful animation of the group's futile struggles against the dragon god, but I never really felt the dead end had a chance. Nothing Damn. they did managed to as much as deal damage to Orsted, and he just swats everyone away like bugs. <laughs> they never had a chance, and Orsted's more than happy to show that fact in their faces. Literally. Seeing the defeated dead end after the fight was such a painful scene, and the fight, well, if you can call it that, did so much in building up hype over Orsted's power. My shin. Ah. Oh. Finishing up the list is Hollow Purple. Oh, Anyone yeah. saw Jujutsu Kaisen become the hit of its season? Nah, this was insane, bro. When I first saw it, I was like, bro, ain't no way this man. I did, and it did so mostly because it brought something to the table. Something, you might say, that pushed Demon Slayer over the top. While it's no contest if oh, you'll yeah. compare the two in terms of popularity, let's just say that amazing animation and jaw-dropping moments in a shonen series that's relatively easy to consume is a formula for success. Now I'm mm. saying that because what I feel is one of the best moments of all in Jujutsu Kaisen came in the form of Gojo finally joining the fight with his spectacular hollow purple. This comes yeah. in the midst of Yuji and Todo having one superbly animated battle against Hanami. Oh, yeah, the fight's fight. already good, and I've talked about the insane animation of fight progression on another video, but having Gojo come in and finishing it with a show of power, man, it's just the series being given the justice that it deserves. What more can be said of Gojo's power after this moment? It's clear that he's the type of mentor who's not going to be jobbed out anytime soon just to feed some villain hype, and he's probably the strongest person on the side of good. Period. Do you think Hollow Facts. Purple is the flex moment of 2021? Share your thoughts in the comment section. I'd love to know your thoughts about this one. Mm hmm. Yeah. Definitely. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. That shit was insane, man. This man Gojo is something else, bro. I can't wait for season for the next season, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's it's insane. And I low-key wanna watch this, uh, Mushoku Tensei, bro. I really do wanna watch that as well. Um But anyways, y'all. That was best anime showcases of power in 2021. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all are insane. Um if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content, make sure to hit that sub button. Hit those likes and turn on the bell so you can get notified whenever I drop a video. KZ fam, stay positive, stay healthy, and most definitely keep that strong mentality, man. Um, out.